Anybody here? I get this note. Help me decipher the cobwebs. It smells like whiskey. I knew it was you, Spencer. You got too much time on your hands now that Laura's gone. You got it all figured out. Yeah. So why'd you come? Look, this is a game that you're going to play by yourself. Hold it. This is not a game. Now, what the hell happened here, Baldwin? So how is it you just happened to drive by here when the fire started? I'll explain that. It was a moonless night. How'd you see the smoke? I got a nose for trouble. Oh, is that what that schnoz is for? Look, Laura's having nightmares. Maybe it's just something simple like she's uh, dreading having to walk down the aisle with you again. What happened up here, Baldwin? You left your daughter with a teenage babysitter that got boys on her mind. Where were you anyways? Down in your wine cellar stomping grapes with a cocktail waitress? Hey. What's going on? Welcome home. When did you get back? Just now. I would have picked you up at the airport since uh, no one else thought to. What's, uh, what's going on? What are you doing up here? I just realized something. And I guess I wanted to um, check the place out and see how much damage there was from the fire. I guess that's what you two had in mind. I've been trying to figure out how it started. Yeah, and he asked me to have a look, and as usual, we don't get along. So what'd you realize? Uh, that, um, you know, France was the, was the answer. I'm, I'm not having any nightmares anymore, and I don't know, you know what, it suddenly hit me that we're going to be married again, and, you know, to quote my soon-to-be husband, um, I'm cured. <laughs> so... Scotty, would you give us a minute? Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, Bobby, glad that you're back. She's been looking after Leslie Lou. Oh, tell her thanks. Okay. Sweetheart. Hi. 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 Is that true, that you're not having the nightmares? No, they're not nightmares. They're memories. I think I'm remembering something that really happened. But it wasn't a dream because I, I wasn't asleep. I mean, I, I was just sitting there relaxing. I could hear the traffic outside. I could feel the bumps on the expressway. I just closed my eyes to relax for a minute and suddenly I was back here in, in the attic. And I was looking into a mirror and it was my teenage face looking back at me. Maybe you fell asleep and that was the nightmare. No, no, it's not a nightmare. It's, it's real. It's something that really happened. And it's something that happened here. Because I can remember the sound of the rain on the roof and the lightning. And I was so scared. It's something that, that happened here. So it was something that you put away. Something I suppressed. Which means it's probably something bad. Sweetheart, maybe you should just slow down a bit, catch your breath. Plan a wedding. Marry somebody who's crazy about you. I know denial gets a really bad rap in the self-help books, but personally, at times, I found it very helpful. Mm -hmm. And if you went to all that trouble to forget those memories, maybe... Then why dredge it up now? I'm not. I'm not. It's just coming out on its own, and I want it... I want to remember it all in one fell swoop instead of being tormented by these fragments. That's why I asked the cab driver to 
stop here first. I, I just thought, I don't know, I thought maybe I could jog my memory a little bit. Anything? It just, it just stirs up so many memories. Like what? Like when I first came to Port Charles. When Leslie found me. And she got the court order to take me away from Barbara Vining. I was so angry at both of them. And how much I missed Amy. I guess I must have put Leslie and Rick through an awful lot. Leslie, Rick, Amy. Anybody else play a major role in your high school days? Well, Scotty. But I was never afraid of him. He, he was always wonderful to me. I get the strangest feeling that Scott knows more about what happened here than he's letting on. Really? Yeah. Maybe he does. I mean... He knew me better than anyone back then. But I, I don't think he would have told you. No. I missed you. Oh, I missed you so. I missed you too. Mr. DeLuca. Hey, Mr. Spencer. Welcome back, you guys. Look at Thanks. you. Darling, look at that suit. Doesn't he look fine? Nice. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> Is this the reason my uh, books don't balance? Uh, no, that would still be because of your math skills. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Spencer, your table is ready. Thank you. Uh, listen, I need uh, a word. I, I can wait for you at the table. Okay, Donna. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. You too. So this is not exactly your usual haunt, huh? Well, no. It isn't yours either. Yeah. Listen, man, uh, I got to get out of the club. Uh, you know, as much as I appreciate the way you cut me in when I first showed up in town, the way you gave me that piece, uh, I got to officially give it back now with many thanks. What's up? You find somewhere that pays better? Well, I just uh, ran into uh, this opportunity, you know, to do something, and it, uh, I grabbed it, man. I, I'm just not gonna have time to hold up my end with you as much as I'd love to. Okay. Yeah. Where are you headed? Well, I'm sticking around in town. I, uh, I purchased a half ownership in a waterfront property. Do you mind me asking with what? Well, I just came into a little bit of good luck. I thought you and Corinthos were on the outs. We are. But you're going to purchase something on the waterfront? That's his territory, man. Yeah, yeah. With Corinthos, you're either with him or against him. You know, you're taking on a whole lot. Yeah, that is the prevailing opinion, but... I've been watching you a long time, man, and it's obvious that going with the flow was overrated, so... Well, what can I say, brother? Yeah. Good luck. Keep in touch, okay? I suppose I sounded pretty mysterious on the phone. Worried is more like it. Is everything all right? Well, you know the weird vibes that Laura's been getting about the garage attic at your old house? They're getting worse. Oh, that's upsetting. Leslie, did something happen up in that attic? As far as I know, it was just a place that Laura went to, uh, to get away, to, uh, to think, to be alone. Sort of a parent-free zone. Yeah. And then eventually she stopped going. Why, do you know? I suppose because she didn't need it anymore. And when was that exactly? I don't remember exactly. Would you try to remember less? It's very important. I mean, did it have anything to do with 
I don't know, something that happened in the family, maybe something between you and Rick? Now, why would you ask that? Leslie, I'm, I'm sorry. I, believe me, this is, this is as uncomfortable for me to ask as it is for you to answer, but it's for Laura. Why did she spend so much time up in the attic? What, was it uncomfortable for her to be with you and Rick? Were there tensions in the marriage? Look, I, I know that Rick wasn't always faithful. Were there other women besides Monica? Uh, brief affairs. Nothing that lasted. They were devastating at the time, but this isn't going to help Laura. She didn't even know about the others. Are you sure? Yes. No. There was one. Um, she came to the house. Rick had, uh, had broken it off with her. And so she started calling. And he never responded. So she came to our home. She just would not be put off. And it was all really... Well, anyway, finally she left town. And I, I'm sure that Laura wouldn't even remember. Laura never saw her? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, she opened the door. But uh, that's all there was, really, Luke. I'm sorry. Let's say I'm sorry. No. Just... Gosh, I... No, it's... No. Okay. You just help her. Stupid. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it really is. Hello. Can you meet me? We need to talk. Hi, Rick. Sure, I can leave now. Okay. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Thanks. Again, it's no problem. Hi. How'd it go? Well, he seemed to be pretty interested in the dreams that I've been having about the attic. But he also had a perfectly sound explanation why none of it made any sense at all. So I just let him think I believed it. It's all starting to sound like a cover-up to me. I don't know. Maybe Rick was sincere. I, I really couldn't tell. I think he's got something to hide. Right after you left him, he called here. Talked to your mother. She's with him now. What did my mother say to you? She said that she couldn't remember anything unusual happening up in the attic. But? Well, but she got very unsettled when I asked about her marriage to Rick. Well, that's because he had an affair with Monica Quartermain. I'm sure that's still painful for her to talk about even now. Sweetheart. Monica wasn't the only one. Rick had multiple affairs. Apparently one of the women even came to the house and you answered the door. I did? I don't remember that at all. I, I knew he had the affair with Monica, but that's all I knew. Well, serious bucks spent here. That's nice, don't you think? If you're into nice. Of course, it doesn't hold a candle to lose place. Ah, I spoke like a woman with taste. <laughs> well, as long as we're here. We should just relax and enjoy ourselves. Right. Is Rick spooking you? I just, I think I'd rather go hear the blues tonight. Darling, I think we should stay. No, no, not, not tonight, okay? Laura, the sooner we deal with this, the sooner we can get over it, behind us, and move on. Okay, all right, all right. That's my girl. Come on. 
an unexpected pleasure, huh, sweetheart? <laughs> Hi, Rick. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Um, no second thoughts on anyone's part, I hope. Mm -hmm. Not a one. Good. You want to back me up on that? Uh, um, oh, right. The, the, the wedding plans are going along just, just as planned. That's great. <laughs> That's... In fact, I can do anything else. Please, sweetheart, let me know. We'll let you know. Excuse me. The dance floor's over here. Let's go check it out. Oh, darling, I think we ought to stay. Just, just... in there, sweetheart. Nothing. Darling, listen, I'm listening. I'm here with you. No matter how weird or irrational it seems, just, just tell me. Tell me. I don't know. I, 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 I was looking at that redhead. She was with that man. And then when she turned and she looked at me, it just panicked me. And it triggered something. about to storm. And what did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I should tell. No. You're on the verge of remembering. We're gonna go to that attic right now and finish this thing. can't go up there. Laura, something happened in the attic that you saw and that you blocked out. Now it's been in your head all these years. It's time to let it go. The storm was getting nearer. I could hear the thunder. I could smell the lilacs and there was sort of like electricity in the air. You were outside. Yes, I was in the backyard, and it started to rain. And it was like someone turned a faucet on. I was completely drenched. And I was just standing in the backyard, and I saw a light on in the attic. Good, good. Did you see anything else? Maybe someone up there, a shadow, go across the window, anything. No, no, I, I, no, I, I'm not sure. Okay. We'll take it slow. Let's go up and see if you remember any more. Closed. Did you open it? Did the room look anything like this? There was a couch over there. Good, now you're starting to remember a few things. Did you come inside? I, I can't remember, Luke. I can't. But the light was on. Yeah. 
Ja. And someone was up here. Yeah. Where were they? On the couch. Who? Who was it, Angel? I could hear a branch banging against the window. And then I heard something else. What? A woman. A woman moaning. Were you frightened? I was confused. I was surprised. I, I couldn't figure out who else would be up here, so I thought maybe it was the wind. And then I heard it again. I pushed the door open. I saw my own face in the mirror. A mirror, a mirror. It was here. And then I looked from the mirror to the couch. And I saw... I saw Rick with a red-haired woman making love.